Hey everybody, we are back with more of our precast training modules or tutorials. And so this is one of my walls. And what we're going to look at in this uh, video, we're going to talk about erection drawings. And I know we did a peace ticket before, but normally your erection drawings come before you do peace tickets. Now here's what we have here. We got our walls done and I did, I went back and I've added a lot of stuff like uh, many of these. You already had your lifting. We got the reinforcing here, and then I we did these straps. Okay, so now to do the erection drum, what we would do is we'll go all the way back to that basement again, and so then um, these are our elevations. So I have them all done and everything. So let's go back into. Let's just do one. I'll do one with you guys. Uh, ready? So now right here, you can do this uh, like this. Uh, you can go here and you can do this in wireframe and create another view. And then you can go here and dip this dimension out of uh, all of our information here. This is, this is important for your erection drawing. So you'll need these dimensions here. And uh, this is the top. So I'm going to run through these. These are PSA straps. I don't know what, don't don't go and try to build nothing like this. It's unengineered. This is just what I think it is, you know? So uh, then we're gonna go out to the end of this panel. And then you can go a little farther with this. Uh, you can give these elevations and then you can get these wall tags and then we go me measure our knit these here. Okay, from there to there. And then from the bottom. So this is, you know, every this is the easy stuff, you know, but I'm setting this one up for you. And then there yeah, now normally uh you wouldn't get this much detail. I did this, I worked in precast, so I had a lot of these families and stuff left over. Okay, so now there's our wall, pretty much. And then what happens there? Uh, let's go look at another wall here. Not that one. Okay, with this wall, uh, this is a shorter wall, and basically this same thing. I don't want to go through that again, but that's how it is. Okay, so now what we want to do is go back into our basement drawing and so we've got all our dimensions here and everything so now to create a, create a sheet for these guys let's just go down to sheets and I'll pick that one and I go OK so now I'm going to go grab one of my elevations here, uh, actually this one. I'll place it there. Now with this view, you can either have it, um, actually I think we want to make this transparent a little bit just so we can see things. So you can go activate this view and we'll go back to our shaded view. Now really don't need to see those other items because we'll pick them up in the uh, in the piece ticket okay so i'm going to leave that there for now and i'm going to go back into this other drawing that we had open here just to show you want to what we want to do here now if you look at these walls now i can go in here and tag and i'm going to not have a leader on it so there's that wall number there's two and this is five so I can go to all of my walls basically here and tag them all there's 14 there's 33 29 there's 229 so those are the same walls so what rivet is doing is smart enough to uh, name these walls and number them and everything so that's great so I'm going to do these over here. 
That's the number one, that's four, 29, 29, two of those. So the more walls we have alike is the best because uh, they can make, they you know, they can make two duplicates and that happens sometimes. So there we go with our erection drawn. So I'm gonna go back into my sheet here. If I can find it, oh, there it is. And I wanna add another one of these uh, elevations here. Let's see what's that? Oh, I gotta deactivate the view, sorry. I'm not sure what this is. You can name these so you can have a better clue what they are. Nope, I don't want that one. Uh, oh, this one right here. Yeah, I want that one. So go back into my sheet. I want the 1D. So just drag and drop 1D right here. But I'll change the scale to a quarter inch. Okay. So we'll move that one right in there and just sort of line it up. So again, um, just for dimensioning sake, we want to show this. I want to do this in wireframe, or I can do this. Uh, I want to activate this view, uh, change this to shaded. consistent colors and then I can tab here override graphics in view with this category and I want to go down to where it says uh, transparency and I'm going to knock this down to say 40 percent oh that wasn't too transparent but Either way, you can go here and you can go to wireframe just as good. So if they had a change, you can change back and forth. So now I'm going to deactivate that view and I'm going to move that there. So now the next thing you can do now for these, you can do a park plan on the floor. I kind of like this. This is something that they did in Gage Brothers. I used to work there. So hi to all the Gage Brothers people out there if you're looking at this video. So what they normally do, I'm going to I'm gonna go to my basement plan. And I'm going to do a park plan here. Or a call out. So I'm going to call this whole section here. One second here. I don't know what happened there. I want to do this. So I'm going to do a call out. Oh, I know what happened. Of this. Okay, now I should have a call out view somewhere. Uh, floor plan. There it is right there. So what you want to do now, let's go back into our sheet. And I'm going to bring this call out in and just bring it right under here. So that's the bottom of that wall. And then we can do the top the same way. And here, uh, we've got, we should have brought the dimensions over. I mean, you can dimension it over or you can go look at your basement drawing, which is they are here. So, hey, guys. Um, so what we want to do now from this point, we want to keep going with these sheets. Uh, I want you to go and do the bottom for this one and then all the other walls on these sheets. And then we'll have completed our erection drawing. So here again, you want to, if you want to tag this, we'll activate this view. And I want to go tag, annotate, tag, and there's number seven. Wall number 34, wall number 32. Okay, guys, so um, go move on with these.
actually we can do the top as well here so we might as well do it I don't like to make these videos too long but let's do the top so I can go up to my second level or is it the first I think it's the second let me just look here yeah this is the one so I can grab this guy I can do another um, call out here Here, there, mm -hmm. and then I'll go back to my sheet, and I'll bring that call out from the top and put it up here at the proper scale, at a quarter inch scale. So hey guys, um, I, I appreciate you watching. Uh, there you go. So this is a nice little workflow. So we've got all of our wall panels done. And then, you know, uh, we're going to go and look at the floors. Well, actually, I wanted to do floors. But I think next we're going to look at the, uh, the the framing. We have to, we can't do floors unless we have our, <laughs> our, our framing done. So our beige and columns. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next video. And everybody be safe. And please subscribe and follow along with my videos. You can learn a lot. You can be a BIM expert. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.